Roswell Flight Test Crew, here today to take a look at the Anafi from Parrot. Click subscribe to see our upcoming flight testing segment. This video is brought to you by the Academy of Model Aeronautics, more than 80 years protecting our rights to fly, and now offering commercial drone insurance, including hull coverage and up to $2 million in liability protection. Parrot's drone designs set them apart from other manufacturers, and the Anafi is no exception. It's a slender, folding limb drone that fits inside this custom carrying case, which is included with the kit. Based on the advertising I'd seen for the Anafi, I'd expected it to be significantly larger and heavier. It's extremely lightweight, being made almost entirely out of plastic. That left me a little disappointed at first, but once I started flying the Anafi, I came to appreciate how clever the design is. It beat every other drone in our flight time throwdown, I suspect because of its lightweight construction and petite design. The camera is located on the front of the drone, and the design allows it to tilt a full 180 degrees, from zenith to nadir. It's mounted on a two-axis vibration-isolated gimbal, and it's built around a 21 megapixel Sony CMOS sensor. By comparison, the Phantom Pro captures 20 megapixel still images. Now to be fair, the image sensor inside the Phantom's camera is four times larger than this one. And that does make a difference in the real world. But nevertheless, this is an impressive little camera. It can capture 4K video at 30 frames per second. And it even comes with this tiny little lens cap. You'll notice there's no gimbal retaining clamp. That's because Parrot built it right into the carrying case. So it's one less part for you to fiddle with. Like I said, smart. We have an indicator light, a cooling fan, as well as a single optical flow camera and an ultrasonic sensor. The battery mounts on top of the aircraft and it uses a push button release. It's a two cell battery with a 2700 milliamp hour capacity. You can check the current charge level by pressing the button on top of the battery which also doubles as the power button for the aircraft. Underneath the battery, we see the included 16 gigabyte micro SD card. Here's the Parrot Sky Controller 3, which I like a lot. Although it's made entirely out of plastic, it has really good hand feel. To power it up, you just flip open the phone holder. The antennas are located in this top part, which is spring loaded to accommodate larger phones. The controls are really straightforward and ergonomic. Between the two joysticks, which arrive in Mode 2 configuration, we have the automatic takeoff and return to home buttons. On the back, we have these two levers, which control camera pitch and digital zoom, as well as a button to start and stop recording and take still photos. This button zeroes out the gimbal, returning it to the neutral position. The kit includes a full set of spare propellers, as well as the tool you'll need to replace them, plus some paperwork, which is long on legal notices, but pretty short on information about flying. You'll also notice I haven't mentioned a battery charger yet, and that's because there isn't one. Instead, you get this USB to USB-C cable, which charges both the aircraft and the controller. This is a big breakthrough for portability, because it really streamlines the kit and makes it much easier to bring along with you on trips. Very clever. You can download photos and videos off the drone through the USB-C connector on the back of the battery by connecting it to a computer and then powering up the aircraft. To charge the battery in the controller, just connect them to any USB power source. Make sure they're both fully charged before your first flight. Attach your smartphone to the controller if you're using a more recent Android phone, you can even use the included USB to USB-C cable. You'll need to download the new FreeFlight 6 app from Parrot, which is available for both Android and iOS. When you install the battery onto the aircraft, push forward until you see and hear the latch release button snap into place. Otherwise, you could get a really ugly surprise when you're out flying. 
Power up the aircraft by touching the power button and then pressing and holding for three seconds. Just like an Autel or DJI drone. The app is really clear and well designed with telemetry across the top, flight mode controls in the lower left, and camera controls in the lower right. To make additional changes to aircraft settings, click on the gear icon in the upper right hand corner. So that was our first look at the Anafi from Parrot. To see our upcoming flight testing video, be sure to click subscribe. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Fly safe.